This is terrible, terrible. I thought that the shingling would just completely sway me to not. Hi everyone. So today I'm gonna to do something that I really don't want to do for y'all. And because I just haven't done it in so long, but it's kind of worth doing. And if you've seen the title, then you know that I'm going to shingle this wash and go. It's gonna take time and I don't like to take time to do my hair, but we're gonna do it today. Just to, you know, to experiment, to reevaluate my life choices, to see if there's a better way. Already, I have done this wash and go. So I cleansed, I conditioned, um, detangled in my hair, and I applied the Paul Mitchell, the conditioner as my leave-in, and super wet maximum hold gel. These two are in my hair. I put them in as I normally would. I didn't shingle, I didn't rake or anything. So what I'm gonna do now is shingle each section. I used this gel because it helps with clumping of my hair, but it doesn't completely clump my hair. So that'll give this somewhat of a test. If I did this with Wetline Extreme, I don't think, I mean, I don't think the difference would be that great. Okay, so gonna go in small sections because that's what you do when you shingle. I have aloe vera juice here in a spray bottle. So if I'm gonna re-wet as I go, just to make sure I'm not causing unnecessary frizz. And then I have a mirror right here so I can see the clumps and I can shingle properly. This is gonna take so long because I do have dense hair. I'll let y'all know how long this takes. But all I'm doing is taking a curl, clump, smoothing down each and every curl, kind of curling it down my finger too, just to make sure. that I'm not causing any frizz. Did quite a bit there, went little by little. Trying to stay very true to the concept. So I'm gonna dry my hair and I'll see you guys soon. And this is the dry result. I did not stretch it because I really like the shape of it at this kind of more shrunken length. I like the shape, so I didn't stretch it. I have to say, guys, this result is pretty darn great. I do really enjoy the separation of my curls. I love how defined it is. Because of the shingling, I did get some sections that I normally miss, like just, just one piece of hair here or one piece of hair there, or I clump something that wasn't clumping because I do have various textures on my head. My 4C section, I would say, is more defined because I pay more attention to it. This like whole middle section here, I would say, is more defined. And I have no doubt that I'll get more days out of this wash and go where it looks very, very fresh as a result. I mean, it really is defined everywhere. Um, exercise will not kill this one, I don't think. And I just have so much separation as well. So 
I really do love this result. Now would I do it again? <laughs> Guys, this took time. <laughs> and maybe if I wasn't filming, it would have taken less time, but I still would do it the same way. Like I don't want to spend time in my shower shingling because that's a lot. My water is running because I do one section, right? I, I wash the conditioner out, I do the section, then wash the conditioner out, right? And it usually doesn't take a long time. But if I were to add shingling to it, that would be way too much water waste. Um, and I could do it the way I did it today, where I just get out of the shower, steal the bathroom, shingle. Um, that's an option. I don't know. I haven't wrapped my brain around this amount of time. Because as you guys know, I like easy, simple wash days. And my washing goes usually are easy and simple and somewhat quick. So, I don't know. I really do love this result though. So, it's a quagmire. It's a catch 20. Two, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. You guys let me know your thoughts. I'll leave my other videos using super wet gel so you can see how it normally looks. Um, and if you go on Instagram, I will definitely take photos of multi-day hair. So by the time this comes out, I should be posting those photos. So you will get to see like how it ages and we'll see, like we'll interpret these results. And in the comments below, definitely weigh in. Let me know. Is this much better than my regular wash and go? Should I just continue to shingle even though it's kind of painful? <laughs> or is it okay where I just take my one inch sections and you know, make it work? We'll come to a community consensus. And until next time, be well, be safe, and find a bit of joy in every day. Bye. She bad, she bad, bad, bad. Oh yes. This is terrible, terrible. I thought that the shingling would just completely sway me to never ever do it again, but the results are freaking awesome. And I didn't even use like some of my seriously like favorite gels. <sighs> I need to do a reverse wash and go test. So maybe I'll do that and shingle and play with it again. This is horrible. Ooh, I should try this with a non-gel styler.